Hello friends, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss to be and to equal inbuilt matches in Angular unit test case. So in the previous videos, we have discussed about the matches in the Angular unit test case and we have seen how many type of the matches available into the Angular unit test case. So now in this video, we will discuss the inbuilt matcher that is to be and to equal. So like um, so, so far we have seen like we are using the to be so basically like when we want to compare some value with something then we use the to be. So basically like we can use to be for primitive data type like strings, number, boolean and other than these primitive data types we can we, we should use to equal inbuilt matcher. So let's understand it with an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and these are the test cases which we are having here now what i'm going to do like in this show addition result here what i'm going to do i'm going to take one variable here so before that what i'm going to do let me get rid of all the existing uh, like test case which we are having so we'll not get any confusion here so let's remove all these test cases so currently Okay, let's remove this also. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write another test case and that is like in to be and to equal test case. And here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take when variable A and this one I'm going to define value as a hello and same I'm going to take another variable and this one I'm going to give a value as a same hello. Now here what if I do expect a dot to b and I'm expecting b. So now let's save it and see what, what is the output for the same. Now let's go on the browser and see like to be and to equal test case is passing like we, we, we can see it is not failing. Now, now same if I will do for dot to equal and if I will save it then let's see what is the output. So we, we can see like in that case also it is passing. And the reason is like this to equal and the to be is basically like to equal is basically check for the objects like it is uh, passing or failing. Now same if I will do for as a one and here it is one. Now if I will save it. So in that case also it will succeed like we can see it is passing properly and same will happen for the to be. So it will work as expected like we can see it is working as expected. Now what if I take it as an array. So let's take it as an array and here also I am taking an array. Now if I will save it in the case of the 2B. So now we can see it is failing because as per the definition like 2B is work for the primitive data type like string numbers and the boolean. Now if I will go and it is saying like expected one and one check the deep equality used to equal instead of to be. So basically like if we are going to check any array values then instead of the to be what we have to do we have to use to equal. So let's save it now. So at point of this time if I will save it we can see all the test cases passing successfully. If I will go on the browser, we can see it is passing as expected. So that's the difference between the to be and the to equal. So basically to be used for the primitive data type and other than primitive data type, we have to use the to equal. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.